G'day fellas and welcome back to another casted game. Spawning in the northwest of the map, it is Don Arty and he is playing some Mongols. His opponent who spawns down towards the opposite side of the map, the south. It is Beastie QT. It's the first time we're going to be covering a Beastie on the channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description to his Twitch channel. You've got to check this guy out. He is an absolute, well, as the name suggests, a Beastie and a little bit of a QT as well. Uh, so he's going to be playing the Mongols as well. Both players here on the Mongols. Now, the map that we have spawned in onto is Ancient Spires. Now, these, this map is very, very good for the Mongols. Uh, there's a couple of good civilizations on this map. So Mongols, Delhi, they're the, the two that come to mind. And typically what you're going to be looking to do in the early game, expand out towards these ponds. You can see that there are deep water fish uh, in these ponds. They're the main ones you want to be going for. None of these shoreline fish. You ideally want to be going for these deep water fish here, right here, deep water fish, because they will regenerate over the course of the game. So it's going to give you a lot longer on your life uh, when it comes to those ponds. But uh, we can already see Beastie doing a bit of a bit of scouting down here towards the uh, east of the map. I'm going to be expanding over towards the middle here. So not the best expansion, but at the same time, you know, you, you, beggars can't really be choosers when it comes to this map. You never know what type of spawn you're going to get. Sometimes you spawn in, and you might spawn in uh, over in the position that Don is in, and your, your closest pond, you know, might be over here. This might be your closest pond, and your enemy might have ponds all around them, just like Beastie's got right now. But, uh, you, you know, you might not have this pond here. So you really just got to go and expand for the first pond that you come across. Now, the next thing to talk about, obviously, it's the Mongols and the Delhi. Now, why are Delhi so strong on this map? Delhi is strong because they can actually defend themselves in age one. And they're very good uh, at adopting to the same pond. So as an example, if uh, both of you guys expand out to the same pond. So let's say you both come out into this pond and the Delhi expands out here. Delhi's going to have a very easy time. It's actually going to be able to kill your fishing boats while they actually are fishing as well. So they can shoot and they can uh, and they can uh, uh, gather up those fish at the same time. So super duper cool. Uh, both players are going to be scouting out each other's bases. Just looking for that Uvu that's going to be very, very important. Uh, speaking of Uvu, does, is there an Uvu? There is an Uvu over for Beastie. Uh, we'll check out Don. Don's got one up as well. So both players opting for an Uvu. This is a hybrid map, so that is the correct play. We'll have to see where the players look to add a barracks in. Now, I'm going to suspect because both players know uh, that they're not necessarily fighting for control of the ponds. So Don's got his pond over here towards the west. Beastie's got his pond over here towards the middle of the map. They're not really going to be fighting over ponds. And when it comes to expansion on this map, I think it's very unlikely um, that the Mongol players are really going to be fighting uh, with each other, just primarily because it's much easier for them to go up to the second age, get a lot of archers out and get them out quite quickly. So we'll have to see exactly how Don Arty responds. He has obviously spotted out the dock of his enemy, and he's just going to continue his plan. We do actually see him heading up towards the Uvu, so could be looking at actually placing a barracks down right now. Do we see a barracks? Do we see a stable? Do we potentially see a forward uh, tower going to be coming out from him. The Khan for his opponent, BCQT, is going to be spotting this one out as well. So now both players are aware, and we do indeed have the barracks coming out from Don Arty. We'll look from Beastie's perspective. He's got his villager coming back. Going to be walking past this, but not actually a lot of resources in the bank for Beastie at this point. He's actually doing a double dock opening, and I do like this play from Beastie, but obviously it means that by doing a double dock opening, if his enemy is going aggressive, which we know about Don. He is definitely going to be doing that. Probably going to have double spearmen coming through any second now. Uh, we'll take a look and see. Oh my god, double barracks. He's going to have double barracks, double spears. That's a, that's double barracks, quadruple spears coming out for Don potentially here. That's pretty big. Now, obviously, Don knows about this expansion. He knows about the Uvu. He's going to keep looking over the map, and he's going to be looking for his enemy's expansion. So Beastie obviously playing it a little bit more aggressive, but Don at the top of this mountain right now, he is going to spot these two fishing boats. Does he realize that there is a dock down here? We'll have to see. We'll have to wait. Uh, he, if he looks at his minimap, he probably should spot those two coming out. Double batches now coming through for Don Artie. And indeed does spot that dock. So Don is going to be looking to punish. You can see he's moving forward now with his double batches of spears. Now, what's the thinking behind the double barracks? That's a great question. I'm sure plenty of you guys are thinking, what the hell is Don going double racks? in age one so the idea is obviously his enemy could respond by making a single racks uh, and then be producing double spears but now don's got a double racks with quadruple spears which means that he's not even going to need to tower this up it, this is basically guaranteed to be going uh to be dying essentially uh so i would be surprised to see don bring out any potential villagers here 
Beastie now going to be reacting with his own barracks. Four villagers going to be tapping away at that. So a little bit of a poor scouting there from Beastie. Now, for anybody unfamiliar with Beastie, um, he is a Mongol main, uh, but recently has been playing with China. He actually reached the top 10 today uh, with China. Uh, I think he was using Delhi as well. So an incredibly good player. You can see the ranks up there at the moment. Uh, those are accurate as of this current uh, second. So uh, the time that they would have been fighting uh, earlier today uh, when this game was actually happening, probably a little bit different at the time. But uh, now Beastie going to be looking to get that age up in. So you can see going out with the, or dropping down a Gur on this gold mine. That's what he's going to be looking for. And now a couple spears going to be focusing down this dock. And I don't think this dock has got too long before it actually goes. And now look at this. Don actually forward scouting his opponent, bringing plenty of spears in here. And if Don continues to rally in spears, Beastie could be in a bit of a problem. You can see Don actually continuing to come down. He's got six spears on the dock. He's got four spears up towards the racks and going to continue looking to take out these spears. Obviously, he's got defender's advantage. He could potentially pull villagers out here looking to whether heal up this barracks. That could be one of the options, but more spears now coming in. The Khan doing its best to try and fight off the uh, the spears of his opponent. And this is an all-action game right now. We are barely six minutes into this game, and it is absolutely action-packed. Seven fishing boats in the middle now. Completely homeless. Going to be doing their best, but uh, unfortunately, it's a very difficult spot. Don already up with a significant lead at this point, uh, being able to secure that lead. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential villager or two come forward and look to drop an outpost down on this uh, on this area. But now Don going to be dropping down that speed boost, heading towards his enemy's base. He spots the town center, firing off with 13 villagers packed inside. He's got to be careful. You can see just how much damage comes out on those arrows. And now Don probably going to be turning his attention towards the Uvu, towards the barracks, and looking to secure a potential victory nice and early in this game. Don really committing right now to Beastie's base. And uh, obviously he does know down towards the east of the uh, of the map that there is this other potential economic threat. But now we do see more spears coming in for Don. We'll look to see what the reinforcements suggest. There's no villagers coming in at this stage. No age up through for Don. He is really committing for the first age here. Deerstone's going up for Beastie. But the question is, is it even going to matter? He's trying to hold on here. We can see that Uvu is going to get burned down. 120 HP and it is just trickling out. Don going to be able to successfully take that one out now. Only single spearman production here and Don looking pretty damn strong in this opening. Now probably going to be taking out this barracks as well and Beastie is definitely on the back foot. Now Beastie's going to have a little bit of a window here. Keep that in mind. Deer Stones is coming up right now. He's going to be able to get out this second Uvu eventually. Again, he's going to be able to drop an archery range on it. But then the difficult spot for him is he doesn't already have it up. So if he wants to put down this archery range, he's going to be trickling out archers one at a time. And now towards the middle of the map, you actually see a villager trying to sneak a dock. Beastie cutie, more like Beastie sneaky. But uh, managing to get picked up there by Don Artie Spears and now coming down towards the east of the map. Don once again going to be looking for a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, aggression. I guess you could say 16 Spears very easily going to be sieging this dock down. Probably about five throws. Now Don himself reaching the next stage going up with the Deer Stones. I wonder how many villagers he had on that as 14 villagers moved down towards this Gur. Is that a berry patch? No, it's a gold mine. Don really thinking about uh, the future and probably even looking towards a castle age transition so that is the question that i'm going to be asking is is that don's plan here has he gone super aggro age one and now looks for castle transition and now beastie getting one back himself this is exactly what i like to see and this is how you keep yourself in the game now this is going to delay don keep that in mind don has already gathered up a huge amount of fish from this we know that don sits at the moment at 1400 uh 1400 fish at the moment he will lose this, but obviously he does have the mass at the moment. And Beastie doing a great job of achieving what he wants to. So what does he want to do? He wants to delay Don. You see him going for this Uvu over here. And this is what that is intent to do. So it's designed to punish Don. Or punish, rather. Not punished. Punish Don. Uh, and sort of stop his... Uh, his economy for the moment because he's going to have no problems you know dropping down another dock here probably dropped it down an outpost or two next to it not that he'll really need it uh but th this is exactly what beastie wants to do draw don's army back here delay his economy a little bit uh but at the same time you know don still looks like he's in an absolute mammoth lead at the moment light junk now going to be coming out to clean up these seven uh fishing boats there's four fishing boats that are in here so 11 villagers from beastie is uh, definitely going to be trying their best to survive. But I guess if you're asking the question, why are the Mongols so damn good on on hybrid maps? This is why. Uh, and so we have just seen that. If you do not play Age 1, then you will lose. And Don being very smart with that double barracks as well, really saying, hey, you know what? 
you need to fight me in age one and if you do not you will lose and don really demonstrating his prowess there now looking to pick up a couple of spears towards the north it is age of empires four don not age of empires three these spears will not snare i mean you can chase them away you can chase them away forever but uh you're just going to be running at the exact same speed looking to get a, a, a villager pick up here they managed to get the first one off let's see if they can go for a second one doesn't look like they're going to be doing it but uh now, both players heading up to the, the third age. Beastie going up with the step readout. We saw that coming up down towards the south of the map. We do see it coming up for the north. So both players mirroring each other at the moment. But Don still looking to have a pretty significant lead. And now we head in towards this mid game. The question is what comes out. And I've got a, I've got a sneaking suspicion on what it may be, ladies and gentlemen. And it, it may be men at arms. But we'll have to see how the players play it out. I'm suspecting that we're probably going to see a, a, a stable coming down. I was expecting a blacksmith uh, very short shortly to see that improved um, siege engineering technology coming through as well, but who knows what we'll see from these players. Men at Arms now coming through. Don Adi actually not using the extra stone that he's got for that. Potentially looking to invest in uh, Lancers instead. We'll have to wait. We'll have to see. Uh, going to be dropping down a second staple as well. We're going to be getting a double batch of Lancers out, so that is indeed the play he's going to be making. And now towards the middle, Don actually picks off the Khan of his enemy. So not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, but uh, obviously Beastie not paying enough attention. 700 score lead now for Don coming ahead. And take a look at the food difference between these two players. Beastie having absolutely no food at this point and really no, I would almost say no will to play on. I tell you what, this is such a hard position. He's got double stable out. Now keep in mind, his enemy Don has got a huge mass of spearmen already. Now these aren't upgraded spearmen, these are only hardened. But I can only imagine that Don is going to be getting that upgrade shortly. Uh, but uh, obviously, he can keep just making units. This is what makes Mongols so damn strong at the moment, is their double batching of units. So you can see up towards here, uh, Don now going to be putting down a blacksmith as well. But they can just make these double batches of units that we've got running out across the map. So anywhere you see these two lancers running out together, two men at arms running out together, that's what that is. And now Don going to be able to pick off a lancer for free here. Very, very nice find for Don. He's going to be super duper happy with that. And now going to be moving in towards the production once again of his enemy. And I think this may be a good game coming in here because I can't see any way that Beastie's going to be able to actually deal with this. He does have the Vroom Vroom car upgrade and he, ha he is rebuilding around his base. But the primary thing for Beastie is he doesn't have the units that are actually going to counter his enemy's army. In fact, he was making lances. It does look like he is moving to sort of raid his enemy. But at this point, I think Don can probably just attack move down mid and he should be fine. A little bit of a raid coming towards Don the Step Redoubt having a little bit of a difficult time keeping these villagers safe but it's not to be expected and Don continuing to work out 15 villagers or 15 fishing boats over here. Don also going to start making fishing boats on this pond that he's taken off his opponent. Continuing to siege down Beastie's base and we see those cars trying to escape right now. More and more archery rangers or that second archery ranger going over and looking to put itself down. Probably going to be dying there and Don really trying his best now to just seal the deal. Step rid out is uh, nowhere to be seen. It's up a little bit further but these deer stones may potentially be the next target as Don now looks to focus down the town center it seems and Don really just making his enemy suffer at this point and it looks like good game has been called Beastie Cutie has been knocked out and Don Arty is victorious so well played over to Don if you're watching this one on YouTube make sure you check out Beastie I'll leave a link in the description and most importantly I'll catch you guys in the next one